COVID-19 did not create health disparities, but it did unmask existing disparities. And what I mean is that this is not a virus that discriminates. This is not a virus that is saying, somehow I'm going to attack one group of people over another. But what happens is we know that those who are predisposed to having severe effects from COVID-19 are those with underlying medical conditions. So you look at a city like mine in Baltimore, where one in three African-Americans lives in a food desert, where they don't have access to healthy fruits and vegetables, compared to one in 12 whites living in the food desert. So is it any surprise that African-Americans also suffer disproportionately from diabetes, heart disease, obesity, conditions that then predispose to higher rates of having severe illness, hospitalizations, and deaths from coronavirus? Also, we know that people of color tend to be essential workers who may live in crowded multi-generational housing where they may not have the ability to quarantine or isolate if they're exposed or ill. So this is why we're seeing disproportionate effects in Latino Americans, Native Americans, African Americans, and other communities of color and low-income communities. And so going forward, we need to be aware of these disparities. We need to address them short-term as well as longer-term. Longer-term, of course, focusing on these social determinants of health, but also shorter term, targeting our interventions, targeting testing, targeting vaccine distribution and outreach efforts so that we are not exacerbating disparities, but we're, we're doing our best to promote health equity.